the format of being robot. The most recent Ponzi World server is Ponzi.lol, which is considered by the creator and other users of the community to be the most powerful VW server to ever go online. You can cosplay as George Floyd or Ronnie McNutt. It became the main Ponzi World server after pounding Ponzi World revived into the ground, making its owner very but hurt. However, when the original Ponzi World site by Joseph was still up, a discussion started about this show. We were able to get the chat out of this discussion, however, we have removed the users' names for their privacy. Thank you for your understanding. User 1. OMG, has anyone heard of the Ponzi Buddy Show? User 2. Yeah, I remember watching it on Nick Jr. when I was a kid. User 3. No man, it didn't originate from Nick Jr. User 4. Actually, I think it originated from an obscure Canadian cartoon channel. I can't remember the name of it though. User 1. I don't remember that. User 2. Me neither. User 4. It's possible that it was only aired in Canada and not in the US. That might explain why some of us don't remember it. User 1. OMG, I think I just remembered the channel it was on. It was called, Cartoon Fun Time, or something like that. User 2. Oh yeah, I think you're right. It was so good. User 3. I never knew it was Canadian, I always thought it was a Nick Jr. show. User 4. It's possible that it was later picked up by Nick Jr. in the US, but it originally aired on this Canadian channel. These users in the chat are discussing their memories of the show, with user 1 and user 2 initially mentioning that they remember watching it on Nick Jr., but user 3 and user 4 providing additional information about the show's origin. User 4 mentions that it did not originate from Nick Jr., but from an obscure Canadian cartoon TV channel. The channel name is not remembered by the users. This adds to the mystery and confusion surrounding the show's history, as it suggests that the show may not have been as widely aired or well known as the other users initially thought. User 4 also points out that it's possible that the show was later picked up by Nick Jr. in the US, but it originally aired on this Canadian channel. Quite strange. On March 31st of 2020, a person that was on the hunt for the lost show had contacted one of the people that worked on Nick Jr. asking for the episodes and why the show isn't on Nick Jr.'s website, and they got a response. The following text is from what the worker replied. March 31st, 2020, 3.45 p.m., by Robert B. Firely. Hello. The reason why the show is no longer on Nick Jr.'s website is because after the show got cancelled, Joe and Jay Lonzi has requested for the show to be removed from the website, due to many of the criticism it was getting. Nick Jr. agreed to remove the show on its website, and this is the reason why the show isn't there anymore. Now, about the episodes, I don't have any, but you can try contacting someone else and see if they have the episodes you are looking for. Thanks for asking. A few days after this, the same person who contacted Robert D. Lyerly has found Joe Vonzi's phone number, 805-782-0322, and called him. The following is the call transcription. Joe Vonzi, hello, who's calling? Caller, hello, do you have any episodes of The Vonzi Buddy Show? According to many people, it's a show that is lost since 2009, and to this day there are many people trying to find its episodes. I'm just calling you because I want you to confirm if it's all true, and that you have any episodes of this show. Joe Lonzi, okay, so, I actually do have the episodes for the show, but why is there so many people wanting to watch that garbage? I'm not even sure they're gonna like that crap anymore. There has been many criticisms towards this show in the past. Caller, there are people wanting to watch the show, because they consider it being a nostalgic show, and a lot of the people who's trying to find this show, says that they liked watching it. Could you please release those episodes on the internet? Joe Lonzi, okay. 
But first, I'm gonna have to talk with Jay to see if he wants the episodes released. One minute. Caller, Ike. Two minutes later. Jovanzi, hey man, you still here? Caller, yeah. Jovanzi, Jay said he's gonna think about it. If you release all of the episodes, I'll make sure to call you again. But first, what's your number? Caller, Ike, my number is... Not gonna put his number here unless this person is fine with it. Jovanzi, okay. Gonna write it in so that I don't forget your number. Okay? Caller, Ike. A few seconds later. Jovanzi, done. Thanks for calling, man. Caller, you're welcome. See ya. Jovanzi, see ya. The call ends. It has been since three years, and the episode has not been released yet, so Jovanzi probably thought about not releasing the episodes for unknown reasons. Days later, Robert has found a screenshot, taken from an episode with Lonzi, possibly with his friends, on the beach. The plot is unknown though. Robert has sent the screenshot to the same person who had contacted him before. Robert has also confirmed that the total runtime for this and all episodes of the Lonzi Buddy Show were 11 minutes. He said that he does not remember if the show had any specials. Hello there again, my expandons! It's your favorite monkey virus and swellest of the topical lunch, Lonzi Buddy. And this is part 3 of the creepy pasta. I just got back from Japan after getting laid with some anime ladies. A few weeks ago in January 20th, 2023, Topical Studios, his main channel and Google account, got hacked unsuspectingly days after his old computer died again while playing Roblox. He was unable to regain access and recover his Google account until he got help from his family and even the Google company. He really still had his channel for almost seven years, but the hacking was sudden and unknown. During the ordeal, he got all of his videos set to private, and his main channel changed to SpaceX US. Also, there has been a live stream on the hack channel, talking literal nonsense about Elon Musk. I'm pretty honest that this was just an Elon Musk fan fucking around with Tovical's old channel. Well later on, Tovical's hack channel got terminated. A few days later between January 30th to 31st, Tovical Studios finally got his account and channel back, reverted his main channel's branding, and restored some of his videos to public. A few weeks later, he now has a new computer. Hopefully in the future, the new one won't die if he would play Roblox. Now with a story. Recently, the Lonzi World Entry just got updated with four users talking about my lost TV show. Gotta love the screenshots of a deformed Lonzi in the Lonzi World site, besides the fucked up context. Most of the new entries were not that important to discuss, because I'm a lazy slob. That VHS screenshot of the TV show is very swell, showcasing an episode where me and my friends were at the beach. I really really wanna go there for my next trip. My bestest of all is the Nick Jr. website screenshots. Oh boy, I really really wanna eat that backyard against cupcake. Well, that's all for this video. I won't come back until the page loads more entries to stick around with part 4. My name is Lonzi Buddy, the adware, spyware, malware, purpleware, monkeyware, memeware, pervertware, weirdware, irisware, anywhere being that brings you this message. See you again, my expandons!